I'm outside in the AMG. Eight. Right outside with my nigga T. Eight. Too beaked out. Yeah, you know me. Hey. Trap pod niggas right beside me. Because they're waiting for the sack. Saca la bolsita. What? Episode, Don't call it a comeback. Trap pod. Episode 76. We in the mix. Rick, you know, Rick, 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 Rick. What, what check, check, check. You know Yo about that? Ass. What you know about that, Vlad? Shh, you already know, so, son. Once again, episode 76. I am Mucho Queso. What's up, dude? I'll be hosting you through this whole little shindig that we call the Trap Pod. And I have my boy, Jay Glez. G L E Z. Those stoples are killing me, big dog. Yeah, no, it, it makes you a little burpy. Yeah. You know I, mean? I hope that wasn't what you had before you went in the bathroom. So. <sighs> God damn. Man, murder was a case. <laughs> murder. Yo, have you ever had it with, like, where the shit trails you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you walked all around and then you came back. I was like, damn, you must have farted in my. No, no, I just took a shit. I'm like, that shit is attached to your shoe. Yeah, for sure. Man, that was bad. Anyways, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm just right here. Just rolling up this rum. Lighten it up, lighten it up a little. So we are, like I said, episode 76. Um, we're officially into October. Are you excited about that? Are yeah, you an October I, fan? Um, I like October, yeah. The, if the if there's a month, I like I like Halloween. 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 That's crazy because I was about to say Halloween is officially canceled. They, they said no trick-or-treating for the kids. They're not allowing that shit. Hey, if tricks are still tricking. No. <laughs> Believe me. We've what been driving by the Woodman every weekend. You know what I mean? There's is that Halloween? Halloween? <laughs> there, there's going to be hoes dressed up out there for sure. Kind of fucked up for the kids, though. I'm telling you, they're banning that shit. You're not allowed to go trick or treat now. That That's crazy, huh? Imagine this. I mean, but you're allowed to go hoe treating. <laughs> That's for a damn show. I wonder if it's memorable. Did you have some memorable trick trick or treater uh, events? You know what I mean? Going out and shit like that. Like some some. Uh, remember that? Uh, what was that movie by? Uh, not a movie. That song by uh, Ghetto Boys. Last year Halloween fell on a weekend. Me and Ghetto Boys was trick or treating, robbing little kids for bags. Remember that shit? Yeah. Um. Mexico, how fireworks? Fireworks in Mexico. Yeah, that was a hot spot. Yeah, like well, any holiday over there, really, like you get fireworks. <laughs> so like when I was younger, like those. It gets were, Friday and, over and, there, you get fucking fireworks. And, 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 and yeah, and the dope part was that um, it was it, so they give out fireworks like yeah, pretty much everywhere, and then um, the cool part was that we like go all over the whole like the whole hood you know like like throwing, the throwing them out and like yeah like go up the roof and everything so that was a, and then over there for halloween dia de los muertos they give you money they give you money for dia de los muertos oh yeah. that's true that's the other I, I that's actually one of my bucket lists is definitely go to mexico city for uh the other little muertos. been there sure, done sure. that yeah i mean that's that that shit looks out the womb but like i said you know what i mean we're officially into october halloween's canceled 2020 how about Oktoberfest? oh if we can go to Germany, that's another bucket list right there. But we only got about three months, three months left. In Mother this, Russia. Three months in 2020, which has been probably one of the fucking craziest or worst uh, years on oh, record. Oh, yeah, this is bad news. Yes or no? Yeah. Right? It's been on, on some crazy shit. And everyone everyone I, is, is fucking dying. Everyone's... Uh, and I just wanted to mention and respect real quick. This last week, Eddie Van Halen passed away. Yeah. Eddie Van boy, Halen, no. man. No, yeah. I was going to ask you, are, are you a Van Halen fan? Nah, not really. No, I like some of his stuff, like, uh, guitar-wise. He's really fucking crazy. So if you guys don't know who Van Halen was, he was actually the guitarist, and his brother was the drummer. Yeah. And Van Halen actually has two stints. You're, and that's what I was going to ask you. Either you're a Sammy Hager fan oh, of yeah, Van Halen yeah, yeah, yeah. or a David Lee Roth fan. I'm more of a David Lee Roth fan because that was when all the partying was going down, as far as that goes. You know what I mean? So... Uh, David Lee Roth was the one who saying That's when you were outside. <laughs> it was a little older. A little older for that, for sure. But I just wanted to give shout outs to definitely uh, Eddie Van Halen, one of Sorry the best. Guys, I'm rolling up right The now. best guitarist of all time. He passed away. I think he had cancer. Yeah, um, he died of he cancer. I'm not sure of what type of cancer, but I mean. Well, they were saying he was battling it for a while, and yeah, uh, dude. he got really bad over the weekend, and he was like on life support. And then uh, he was, it's like all fucking depressing, though. Like, man. It's like headlines are, are kind of getting, I don't know, man. Well, a lot of death, a lot of. Uh, well, I'm glad you said that because, you know, I'm here to cheer you up. I'm not right. here to bring you down. And we're here from Los Angeles. And this doesn't actually bring me up at all. But this brings you guys <laughs> up. It actually pisses me off a little bit. But the good thing about here in Los Angeles is the Lakers are about to. Finally going to get our shine. Yeah. Tonight is actually the game. They're up 3-1. You think they're going to close it out tonight? That's it. Baby. They're wearing their Kobe jerseys. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you know, that's we, we got the dub. We got oh, don't the dub. Worry. I brought some more weed. Too. We, we brought okay, the dub. So, so you, you think they're going to win tonight? 
Yeah. They have not lost in the Mamba jerseys. I think they're like 4 and 0 since they wore those black jerseys. They're wearing them today, dog. They're wearing them today. So they're that's like, good. They better they I mean, you were watching the game last time. I yeah. remember you hit me up and you actually went out there and watched the game. How was it out there? People was excited and shit. Uh, it's crazy cuz there's no home games. That's another thing. They're all like in the compound, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. So I mean, that's definitely a, I mean, just, a, I mean, to begin with, they're in a bubble. So that's, you know what I mean? It's totally different, different vibe. I was wondering, I was wondering actually what I was tripping on. I'm like, damn, if we win, are we going to have like a parade? Hell no. You know what I'm saying? Damn, no, you're not having no goddamn parade. That makes no fucking sense. Yeah, I don't know, man. And there But I was wondering, I was like, hmm, I wonder like, what were they, what are they going to do? You know? I think tonight's going to be the night. So if they win, then tonight is definitely going to be Bracken. So we'll go out to Ventura and see what the hell goes on. You know what I mean? Because I have a feeling it's definitely going to be going on on Ventura Boulevard. If oh, they win. that's if they right. Win. So we'll, we'll go out there and take a look. Maybe we should get some birds. Cruise around. I, I, just, got, I just got the Addy for a little, little situation afterwards. Let's go. Oh, a party? Yeah. What? Oh, shoot. Say less. Anyways, hit it's the one, lemons. It's, it's one of the uh, one of the seven fives that we like a lot. We are there on our way. Anyways, um... Tell, tell your sure for not to come through today. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to be out with the boys. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, definitely, definitely. Be out with the boys. I'm going to turn off my phone, actually, after this whole situation. Goes on. Um, weekend update, anything? Did you do anything last weekend? Anything exciting? Anything like that? I didn't. I know for a fact. Well, we um, went out on Friday night. Went to Casa Vega. Friday that was garbage. Night. Garbage. The food there is... I'm you know you. what? But, like, I always said it, like, I've... I've gone there to go eat before, and like it's always not good. It's not like it's not like may, people make it out to like this. Whoa, you know. I just I remember I got a story for that too. It's funny. So about the food there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a story about the last time we went, and I got hated on. Remember? Oh, oh man! I swooped I, up. Yeah, you back. did. You definitely did. I got hated. No, on. so Anyways. so but going back to Casa Vega, we went to Casa Vega, and it's cool. It's a cool spot to be at. Like. But it's not the same. I used to just go there for the bar. No, most definitely. The bar the was bar. a thing because the bar you had the girls like, and the bartender was awesome. That yeah, was, yeah a couple times we went there. Bartender was cool. Yeah, Paisa, homie. and yeah, the, the girls and the girls. the girls are like they were like if they were at that bar, they're not. You it know, was done. It, it was, was just done. like it was like they're down talk and hang out and like you know kick it and shit. Especially if you're ordering forty two. You know what I'm Ooh, saying? But yeah, stop. no, definitely. I, I I wasn't feeling good that night, so I remember I hit it out. Did you guys go anywhere else after that? Because I know you guys were probably yeah. going to hit the Woodman, but the Woodman was packed. Yeah, so, I went by. Oh, so trip out. So, yeah. We went to the Woodman. <laughs> well, <laughs> went to the Woodman. <laughs> went to the Woodman. And no, we tried to go to the Woodman, yeah, but it was stupid packed. Pack. It was stupid packed. So then we walked to One Up. Was packed, one up and then we got lucky. We, went in. we were just sitting. We were just standing because we were CJ. Okay. So CJ was there. We we're taking him. I'm like, dude, what are we going to do? I'm like, I don't know, man. I'm like, I'm not standing, dog. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm out. And then we, like, this fucking table gets open. And you guys sat down right there. Okay, that's cool. Because the one up is right next to the, to the woodman. I, I drove by and it was just crazy packed. Little E was there, a little easy and shit. Oh, my God. Good thing easy. I didn't go. Ah. Again. 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 Um, Shut the fuck up. I'm <laughs> such a hater, Shut dog. Shut the fuck up. Man, you sound like my bitch, nigga. Anyways, <laughs> the, speaking of sounding like my bitch, this was funny, and I thought uh, I would just bring it up because it kind of plays into a, a story we we're going to do last week, but we had so much shit going on. And I don't know if you hear, heard about this, and this is probably TMZ, but I'm just going to bring it up right now. Um, Mariah Carey. You know Mariah Carey. Oh, uh, yeah. So a while ago, she was going out with that billionaire. His name is James Packer. It doesn't matter who he is, right? But they were going out. They were even... <laughs> he was packing that. <laughs> facts, because... They oh. were engaged to to get married, right? So they were engaged and everything. So they were fiance and fiance, and they ended up breaking it up. She actually just came breaking out is hard and confessed that I guess throughout the, the entire relationship, which she was with this guy, and this guy's a billionaire. Okay, remember that. It says a here, billy, a billy, a billy. So let a me billy. just read it here. It says most recently, the singer revealed, which is Mariah Carey, that she never had sex with her billionaire ex fiance James Paxer, Cap. adding that the relationship did not matter to her. She was speaking to the Guardian Mariah as she's uh, releasing a new book called The Meaning of Mariah Carey. Yeah, it's Cap. You, you don't believe it? It's Cap, Cap Mariah. I think, I, th- I believe it. Because if you look at old boy, he definitely was invested and he probably thought that he was going to get in them pants. You know what I mean? Once he married her and she pretty much called it off. You think, so that was, his, so you're saying that his fucking, his game was, hey. Guaranteed. I'm a billionaire, I'll, I'll marry me. Guaranteed. Look at him. And especially Mariah, like if it was any other girl and it was him, then maybe not. But Mariah, she played his ass a hundred percent, a hundred and ten percent. You know what I mean? So you don't, 
That's all she got, 110%. <laughs> she obviously got 0% because she didn't feel any of that. She thing. got some money, though, right? Gifts, I I'm guess. I'm telling you, she was, fly- she was flying her around doing the whole thing. Because I remember even Nick was talking about this. Uh, your boy, uh, what's his name? Nick, Nick uh, Cannon. Nick Cannon, yeah. Shout out to Nick. He was, he was Drumline homie. The whole time. Like, which also brings me to another article. And I don't know, let's go ahead and speak on it because it kind of goes to, goes with this hand in hand. Is uh, Last week we were talk- going to talk about it. And there was an article in the New York Times that four out of five Americans have oh, never yeah. experienced a uh, an orgasm. Okay, okay, hold on. A real orgasm. Hold on, hold on. Okay, a real orgasm. But like, um, does that does that mean um, like physically with someone or just like they couldn't even jerk off? No. First and foremost, okay, good point. First and foremost, I think that has to say four out of five women because how does a man fake an orgasm? Does that, is that like a thing? Not nah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> so check it out. Check it out real quick. It says the survey asked 2,000 Americans. Okay, 2,000 Americans. Approximately 2, 1,800 of them have been sexually active. Okay, about their sex lives. And it says it turns out that a better for better. Okay, it says it turns out you better be good in bed if you have another 68 percent of sexually active respondents said bad sex is a total tiebreaker. Now, let me just go into a couple of statistics. It says one in three of sexually active Americans have dumped someone because of having bad sex. Have you ever dumped someone because of bad sex? Uh, No, nah, (laughs) no. You know why? You know why? Why? Yeah, tell me why. Have you? No, I don't think I ever have. A man, bad sex is. I mean, exist. bad sex is. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't Thank think, you. Yeah, I don't think there's. I don't know. That's, that's what I'm saying. So okay, so yeah, okay, keep going, keep going. Okay, okay. so now it says Dispenser. 68% also said bad sex is a total deal breaker when dating. Okay, that's totally different. That oh, dating breaker. when dating. Yeah, you know I mean, if it's a deal. Yeah, because once you're in a relationship, you don't have sex. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> so. The, so then that is the, okay. Next one it says four Where's and ten. At? Where's the lie at? Just check let me it out. Know. Four and ten feel like they've never experienced a true ad orgasm. Okay, so they feel like they've never really experienced. Maybe they've had something similar, but they've never experienced a full orgasm. Mm. And you know what? The funny part about that is that was back. You know what? I can like. <laughs> No, yeah, because when I was younger, or, you know, before you're trying to get the groove on and knowing what the fuck you're doing. Okay. You know, like dry humping and shit right, like right. that. Um, Like, I remember, like, I, I never really finished. I was like, uh, like, you know, I, I, I was like, left me in blue balls. I was like, what the fuck? Like, really? yeah, I dated some chick that, like, she would not, like, give it up. And I was like, and I wasn't like, I'm not like, you know, like, hard on that shit like, i'm like all right cool whatever and, but like when we get to it like well i'm like yeah i'm like all right like and they uh, just stop you fucking yeah no! i'd be like man i was like, heat right. it up. like fucking yeah. hey. i this, was like huh so this is interesting perfect perfect so let's talk about this one so this is it says 54 percent want to improve their sex lives but don't know how that's actually extremely interesting mm. because that's a crazy conversation to have with your significant other because you don't have this situation when you're first dating. This is a situation that you have once you're dating, obviously. Right, right. right, right. So what, have you had that conversation before? Like, you know, where things have maybe gotten a little fizzled out and you try to like, do you say, hey. No, I have, I have these, uh, <laughs> these type of relations that go like really, really high. Right. And they're really high. So boom, they crash. And then I just don't, you know, there's no time to speak. Am I might, <laughs> <laughs> no any, any of my about? relationships that I've ever had, I thought of, you're, you're saying that right now. I'm like, huh. To, in a nutshell, I'm like, you know what? I could never have that conversation with someone. <laughs> <laughs> just because I've never dated with someone that long or like been with someone that long, you know? Wow. Okay. I'm just being a keeping a hundred. Okay. Well, damn, look at that. The funny thing about it, that used to be my go-to when chat rooms were all about, you know I mean? It was like before. So this is when the inter- internet was first getting, there was no Instagram. There was no Facebook, not even MySpace. And you'd go into chat rooms. I was going to say rooms. MySpace. Remember you oh, go into AOL, 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 AOL. And, AOL. And then, and remember that was, you go into chat rooms and it would always be ASL. You remember what that was? Age, yeah. sex, location. And then I remember that would be like my kind of like my go to like you'd say, are you married? And they'd be like, yeah. And then you'd be like, oh, well, when was the last time you had an orgasm? And they'd be like, because I'm telling you, that would always they'd be Damn. like, oh, wow. You know what I mean? So, it's been it's been a long time. It's been a while. I've been so. a lonely man like that. <laughs> no, well, I wasn't talking about lonely man. man. <laughs> like, <chill. laughs> why Whoa. would they tell me that? Anyways. Oh, God damn. That was a. I I think like I don't know like the whole orgasm thing again going back to I guess obviously this is in in a course right that people and, haven't yes had. of course because I mean that alone is is just crazy right like how do you 
do you i mean i mean does that does that mean that these couples have been with with someone for this long and like haven't told them hey i haven't nutted probably or just lied to them you know what i mean like it's just you I, think so yeah i definitely think well so. i know that sex we put an emphasis on sex a lot more than the chick does right and that's and i think that's kind of the reason because a lot of guys actually no hold on <laughs> no but but to, to, to play on that <laughs> check this out because a lot of guys are always oh, i'll put it on you this and that they do a, they do a lot of hyping up and then no, I feel happy. like when they actually get with the girl, I do no hype. They, they come, they come <laughs> short of 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 the hype. Uh, I, that's why I never. That's why I'm, like, never, yeah, no. I'm just like, nah, I'm whack. <laughs> like, I'm whack. I'm like you gonna <laughs> you gonna get some whack dick, and then like I, you know. And they still roll through, huh? I mean, you know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that. Enough of it's that. Like, you know what I think about it? It's like um, reverse psychology. <laughs> You're gonna get some whack dick. And yeah. Like, God damn. Let me make sure it is like that type of shit. That's okay. fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try that reverse. I guess I don't have to because it is true. <laughs> anyways, you didn't get that. Huh? Just right over the head. Yeah, right over the head. Okay. <laughs> anyways, uh, with that being said, we have a lot of uh, headlines to get into. Yeah, hello headlines. We're gonna get to. Uh, okay. So let's get get right into it. Why not? Um, sure. Okay. Right. Yeah. You got something else on your mind? You know, now we Gucci. Cool. Let's get into that. Let's so, do this. Um, last week. And uh, this is the highest of the headlines that, you know, this is pretty much on everybody's fucking uh, front page is last week we reported, obviously, that your boy Trump and we recorded on Friday. So yes. We, we reported that Trump had come down with coronavirus. The, okay? the COVID. Now, at, over the weekend, he actually got admitted into the hospital. I guess they, there's been conflicting reports, but they were saying that, you know, he was kind so, of shortness of breath. He was starting to get mild symptoms. So they took him over to the hospital and he was there for a few days. Now that he's caught a lot of heat because of that, because uh, because right after that, he met with the gang of people too. not only that, even when he was in the hospital, he had a bunch of people out there like uh, like a rally. There's a lot of people showing up at the hospital, right? Like, you know, holding signs like, yeah, go Trump. And while he was at the hospital, he made his Secret Service drive him around so he could acknowledge the people that were outside the hospital. So he put oh, yeah. those Secret Service people in, in danger. You know what I mean? Not only that, when he got released from the hospital, there's footage of him. He gets to the fucking White House, and right away when he gets to the White House, who rips off his mask, like takes it off and starts taking photos. But you can actually see in the footage that he actually has a little bit of trouble breathing. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, he's, he, he looks like he's, he's winded at going up those stairs. Definitely winded. Definitely, definitely winded. So he's been catching a lot of heat. You know what I mean? Um, on top of that, there was a vice presidential debate. I don't know. Did you watch that at all or no? He, he looked like... Um he looked like he was going up uh, Runyon Canyon and shit, you know? <laughs> you know he like was that. struggling for sure. Mm -hmm. He definitely was struggling. Um, and like I said, there was also the, the vice pre presidential debate. Your I didn't boy, get to see that, dude. Your boy Mike Pence, I guess, had a fly on his head for like two <laughs> minutes. My boy, okay. And, and everybody was like, everybody was like, they must have smelled the bullshit coming out of this motherfucker because that was a lot, a long time. That Did you see that one? I didn't get to see it. I was, um, um, I watched a little bit of it, you know? I wasn't too, I, I was a little disappointed, honestly. I thought it was going to be a lot better. Did you? Yeah. But, uh, you, know, no. you know, I'm into politics a little bit, so. Yeah. Kinda... I kind of, um, yeah, I didn't see it because I, I, I started with, you know, CJ's video. I was kept editing. So I'm like, and then like, I was trying to buy the song. <laughs> I was trying to buy the song. And I couldn't find it anywhere. And I, like iTunes, you can't buy, like I couldn't f figure out how to buy it on iTunes. So I'm like, uh, I just hit him up. I'm like, dude, send me the track because I can't find it. <laughs> and he couldn't, he couldn't. Well, he barely texted me today because he's, you know, he's got a little situation going on. A little situation, you know. Shout okay. out to CJ, though. Yeah, we'll get sure. that done this week, for sure. Well, definitely good to see him on Friday. Um, not only that, back to Trump, he, uh, he, I guess, also canceled. There was supposed to be another debate between him and Penn, and they wanted to do it virtually because, obviously, he has COVID. He's like, no. Nah. And he was like, nah, I ain't doing that Dude, shit. just like, he's just so crazy. Didn't he say, he's like, yeah, I, I beat it. I'm like, it wasn't me. It was the USA. That was a big what thing, too. It? And that what kinda he said? That kind of leads to the next story. But he was like, don't let, he's like, I beat it. He's like, I feel better than I did 20 years ago. Don't let COVID um, take over your lives, pretty much. He's like, you know, don't let it take over your lives. It's not that bad. And that actually led to a death because we were reading that. Oh, one yeah. There's an 80, 81 year old guy, 81 year old that um, he was a Trump supporter and he had gone into like a what was it like? I don't know. Some mall or some shit. He was like arguing with him like, no, nah, I'm not going to wear one because the president said we don't need to bubble. Do -woo -woo. Long story short, he ended up dying of COVID. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 81-year-old man who was a, who was a supporter of uh, Donald Trump. I think uh, it says here he was the only one that wasn't complying. He went to the store. He was hearing all the conspiracy theories and was saying that Trump said that 
said that this or that said that he didn't believe it was a real thing. So his name was Cipran, Carlos Cipran, who described not having any ailments starting. And then he ended up getting COVID. And on September 20th, he was taken to a local hospital. And three days later, he ended up passing away. And he quoted the, the, the president once the president came out of the hospital and was saying, hey, don't let this take over yeah. your lives. And that mask don't really matter. So It's crazy, it. man. It's, it goes back to like... Um, some people don't realize like the the impact they have on other people, you know. And I don't think like I don't think Trump's like too aware of it like that. To say shit like that, I, I you know what I mean. I think to say shit like that, it's kind of like whoa, dude. Like oh no, most definitely. You know what I mean? Like I, I mean these are, that guy's a trip, dude. He's fucking crazy. The one thing that people got to understand, and he probably doesn't even understand it, is a lot of people don't have the um, the medical resources he does. Let's say he got COVID, yeah. right? We got COVID. We barely went to the hospital and they were just like, yeah, you got to get the fuck out of here. You yeah. know what I mean? This fool he had, had medication and everything. How like many that. doctors around him? Yeah. IVs the entire time. Top notch doctors at exactly. that too and so shit. Of course. <coughs> of course, you know what I mean? Like, he's probably going to get out of this. And you were even talking about how he mentioned that drug a couple of times. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's probably he has got I'm telling you, man, money in the pocket. Everything's just like a. It's, I don't know. Maybe it's just me being fucking conspiracy theories yeah or just i don't know man just it's just like a lot of shit like doesn't like it a lot of shit adds up that's the problem you know what i mean like i'm yeah. like damn like it makes sense like that and especially knowing how he works too many things add up that are contradictory you know what mm-hmm. i mean so that's what has so many people like you know against each other which once again but who in, knows man in the va- so let me ask you a question in the vice presidential debate okay they asked both of them they said if a vaccine comes out tomorrow okay would you take the vaccine? Because a lot of people have been questioned or a poll said that half of the Americans polled would not take the vaccine if it was available. I went. Because you know how they've been talking about yeah. a lot of that, even for like flu and other stuff. I, so I, I haven't even taken the flu shot. So you would not take the uh, COVID no. vaccine if it was available to you? No, I don't think so. Not at all. I, unless like, but you know how I am. I'm no, just like. I would, I'm, I'm with you. Honestly, I wouldn't either. I'm just like, because look, even if I get the flu or whatever, you know, like mine, I've never taken I haven't had my flu shot in like since I was a baby, maybe. So I remember as a kid. Right. Um, and I'll just like, you know, if I know what it is, if like, you know, I'm damn if I do, damn if I don't. I'm like, I'd rather just like, I know I can prevent it, prevent it, I guess, but I'm not really worried about it. If it's gonna go down, it's gonna go down. Is what you're trying to say? I guess so. Yeah. I saw a meme and uh, some some homegirl posted, and I I actually thought it was extremely because my dad used to kind of say that shit, but it was funny because she said. No, son, don't be a home. No nah. pill or drug is gonna make you healthier or happy, and that's so true. Because a just, lot of us are trying to get healthy, and they're we're thinking like this certain pill or there's certain like you know. What oh, I, mean? okay. I thought you're talking about like drugs. I'm like, yeah. Dude. Oh no, no, no. That's. <laughs> I mean, we're in the trap part. That's all. I was like, hold on. I'm like, well, damn. Okay. No, she got like you know. I'm like, this bitch must be like she doing those oxys and shit. This bitch got some oxy for sure. Because that made that kind of led me to the the next story where you we were talking about the person that got a COVID test and they ended up getting one like brain damage oh, or brain leak. Uh, they had a, a brain leak. They went too far up, dude. First of all, that fucking test it sucks. Did um, you do that one? Yeah. See, that's, that's crazy. what I did. So, like, I went and then, like, they just put this, like, oh, that's all. Oh, ah, it just hurts. That's crazy. And then they put it out. But I guess this girl went to went to go get tested and then they did that, but they put it too deep that her mate started making her brain leak. It and, says uh, here, yeah, it says, think your nasal swab went up too far. Yeah. It says, a woman who underwent a nasal swab to get a, t- a test for COVID was left with a leaking brain. Because I guess yeah. they poked it. <laughs> no pun intended. And yeah. she was left with a leaking brain. Yeah. Wow. Went too deep, dog. That's crazy. I'm like, fuck that, dude. That shit, that test alone is crazy, dog. Like, that shit's whack. Wow. Fuck Are they still that. doing that one? Because now... Oh, I don't know, man. That's I, weird. Fuck Anyways. that. Oh. Well, that's all I'm saying. I'm just mad at that. That shit hurt. <laughs> like, oh, like... <laughs> that shit hurt. And then that fool, because, like, I remember the, 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 the nurse guy was like, hey, um, he's like, this is going to hurt, man. And I'm like, motherfucker. I'm like, like, all right. the first time, nurse guy. <laughs> 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 Not my first rodeo. <laughs> And if things couldn't get any worse, especially any worse. With, your, with your boy Trump. Um, with my well, boy, shut the fuck up. Well, <laughs> did, did you ever go to a Ruby Tuesdays? No, I never went to Ruby Tuesdays. No, not at all. No, I went to uh, uh, Scissors. Oh, yeah, no. Scissors was a spot for me. Uh, when I would ditch school, I jumped the back fence and then go straight to Scissors. That was a hot spot. Back really? Uh, no, but the reason I used to be, I'm saying I thought is because... I, I, I thought it used to be dope taking a girl for there for a date. <laughs> <laughs> I You're thought like, I, I was saved doing up it. and we're going to I Sizzler. thought I was doing it, dog. No, I was just going to say, 2020, uh, I just saw that 
Ruby Tuesday is going out of business. And also Regal, Regal Theaters. Uh, it's not as big as AMC, but Regal is a, a big chain of theaters. They're also going out of, out of business. And not only because of the coronavirus, but I uh, was listening or lack of product. So mm. since Hollywood isn't making any movies right now, there's no movies to put out. And they were saying that the biggest grossing movie last week, you know what it was? Hocus Pocus. Because you know how a lot of these drive Oh, they just it? did. Didn't they do the, like a, a part two? But it wasn't that. It was just from the... From all the, oh. you know how they're having all these uh, drive-in movies for a lot all of clown, movies and a lot all, of cloud yeah. chasing. What do you ask? Exactly. If you ask me, though, so, that's crazy. All Coronavirus people, kickback. <laughs> all these people going out of business, or big, big companies going out of business because of the uh, Corona. I'm telling you, it's the Rona. The Rona. Uh, so the, also, damn, dog. 2020 is getting crazier and crazier. You have this trip. This one, yeah, this one's crazy. Scientists have discovered 24 super ha- habitable planets outside our solar solar system with the conditions that are better for life than Earth. So outside it goes outside the solar system. So yeah, the fuck a total twenty-four to super planets may have conditions more suitable for life than Earth and better stars than the Sun, according to researchers. The study, led by Washington State University, identified planets that were that were older, slighter, larger, warmer, and water than Earth, wetter than Earth. Cleaner too, because we're not there. That <laughs> we're definitely not there. Uh, they added that life could thrive more easily on planets which orbit changing stars with longer lifespans than the sun at a low, a slower speed. The twenty-four planets identified are all more than a hundred light years away, meaning it is difficult to see them <laughs> up close. However, e- researchers have said that these findings could help inform future telescope observations. One of the least researchers, Professor Dirk uh, Dirk Skolzik Makus said with the next space telescope coming up we will let we will get more information so it's important to select some targets we have to focus on certain planets that have the most promising conditions for complex life so right now they're like focusing on mars just because it's the easiest to get to right it's like right next door well that was like the our main uninhabitable yeah, like, yeah as a, far as that goes yeah i mean you can but it's like fucking hard as shit yeah so these ones are habitable but they're fucking millions of light years away so you can't really get there and another thing that happened, yeah. So that's crazy that we have like that they can see that's from this far away, but a hundred a hundred light years away, that's like like might as well not even be around. Hmm. I mean, that's like liking that girl on Instagram, and you know what I mean. Like, what was the point of that? Wait, what? No, nah. <laughs> The other crazy thing that happened was three <laughs> huge asteroids will yeah. skim past Earth today. Oh yeah, and this was two days ago. So hold on, it says it says Earth going by at uh, fifteen hundred. <laughs> 15,000 clearly we're safe (laughs) no but hold on hold on the other two will be passing in a couple of days so it says one of us already passed the other two will be passing at almost 17,000 miles per hour and at over 250 wide 50 feet wide this afternoon wow so they already passed so we're good yeah we're good oh no that's not (laughs) fuck you would never hear this episode of that had happened. We should have uh, researched uh-huh. that one a little bit better. And trip out, right? If they, like if that would have happened, they would never listen to this episode. Good job, Dragon. Good job. Good job. Just, you know, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just how Earth works, man. No seventy six. No 76 science, now. bitch. Nah, like <laughs> oh, you never seen Breaking Bad, huh? Have you ever seen a broken neck? Uh, whoa! <laughs> break that neck. Nick, break so this is crazy. This was sad. I mean, the photo is crazy, too. Yeah. So what we're talking about is another fucking police brutality. So a situation. Another one. And it doesn't say where. Do you have any information? Mm. Oh, it says Hidalgo County Jail, which sounds somewhere like in Texas. But pretty much it says here cops hold this man's head up for his shocking mugshot after they allegedly broke his neck. His family is now suing after he died in custody. And in the photo, you see the the cop's hand like holding the guy's head up. Through by his hair, and then I guess they took the mugshot at that point. Isn't that crazy? Uh, the audacity, right? Like, dude, then, you fucked up this. Like, you broke his neck, and you still fucking put him for a mugshot. Like, what kind of piece of shit it. are you, my guy? Oh my god, yeah, that's, that's like, oh. Uh, well, that's the one thing about this guy is that he's not going to be susceptible to the, some of the torture that they've been putting some of these uh, inmates under. Uh, <laughs> did you hear about this story right here? Baby shark. Do, 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 honestly, do, do, anytime do, do, my niece do, 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 comes, do, 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 comes to visit, she wants me to play this fucking song on the damn fucking uh, on, in the truck. And it, it is torture, honestly, because it's like over and over. So playing baby shark on repeat is now deemed a form of torture. Why? Because Oklahoma jail in Oklahoma jail played baby shark for hours and hours every day on repeat for torture. 
So the inmates could hear Damn. this over and over. Can you imagine that? Where the inmates like, baby, shark, do, 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 do. A grown ass, big ass nigga saying like, George. I want to know why, what it is that they did in order to get this torture or this punishment. You know what I mean? Because it says here maybe, two. Maybe it's just a prison that just, you know. Somebody read it because it says two former detention officers at an Oklahoma jail have been accused of subjecting inmates to inhumane punishment by forcing them to listen to the song Baby Shark on repeat. Uh, an investigation found that at least four prisoners at the Oklahoma City Jail were made to stand for hours with their hands cuffed behind their backs while the kids bop song on a high loop in a loud volume last November. What about the, the, the like the, like the, the officers there, they have to they go have through to it, too. To it too, right? right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's crazy, dude. That's a very good point. I mean, that song is like, I'm like, I get it. It's, oh shit. It's catchy. Like, but dude, that, that motherfucker made money. There's one in Spanish called La, La Vaca Loca or something like that. Oh, that was dude, probably... that fool made money off that. Oh, for sh- are you kidding me? Dumb. Hey, kids' music, dog! I'm telling you, that's the way to go. You get a catch. Did you make jingles? Catch. Jingle, jingle. I think I've told you before. I used to know a homie. He was a he was in a band, and I guess they were kind. Of, it was like an alternative band. They were pretty big out in Europe. Group Tate Sluts. No, no, they were big out in Europe, and over here they were whack. And he pretty much <laughs> the way he ma- paid his bills was making jingles for the commercials, and he was like he had like a couple of jingles, and he get paid pretty good. But like I'd go to it, and he had a nice studio in his fucking garage, and I remember he'd be. Like, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. I have to do this jingles over again. And he like he's like, uh, what's that movie? Um, uh, with the tiger, tiger, um, tiger King? no, no, what's that? Um, that, that, that dude, um, I'm telling you. what was that show with, um, the tiger, tiger power, or whatever. Remember what's his name that had AIDS and fucking he had AIDS, he had AIDS, and um, he was fucking a bunch of like, uh, Hookers and shit like that, and like porn stars. Oh, I don't know. What are you talking about? I the actor. I want to see no, it. it's not a movie, but he he played a he played his a role that he played on TV was that he used to write jingles for like music oh. and stuff. Oh, uh, it wasn't Californication, was it? No, 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 no. no. That's a good show, though. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, no, 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 no. Okay, no, no way, really. Uh, Charlie, Charlie, uh, Matt, Matt, uh, Charlie Sheen, no. Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen, there you go. Yeah. It wasn't, uh, yes. Tiger okay. something, right? No, the Tiger Blood was the shit that. Tiger he, Blood, there you go. <laughs> that's when he was with the hookers at his house. Remember? He yeah. Was going through it. He was going through it. He, he was running through them. <laughs> <laughs> running through the, <laughs> through the hills with his AIDS. Hey, speaking Whoa. of running through, check this, this. This is one of the best, and I want I want to end the uh, the the headliners headlines on this on this one. This is an awesome. The header story. headlines. You know what I mean? This is and what is this? This is and <laughs> you sent the wrong link, so I got to bring it up here. Why? What I send? You send the China one, like on the next updated. One. Oh, that's why that thing popped up that way. Yeah, that's why I was like, "What the hell is that?" All you about? know what though? Baby shark, do do. <laughs> okay, got it here. So check this out. This is awesome. This is why I want to move to the Netherlands. <laughs> so in the Netherlands, disabled citizens get paid money from the government to spend on prostitutes. The hookers for the ha- so this is the name of the program is called wow. hookers for the handicap, and now the program covers the cost of up to twelve prostitutes, prostitutes a, a year. year. It's re- it's reported that the scheme has dramatically reduced levels of depression among disabled people. The goal of the hookers for handicap foundation is to help and support people with physical disabilities who have difficulties expressing intimacy and sex. The foundation was founded on on fifteenth September fifteenth nineteen ninety seven. And works together with doctors, sexologists, hospitals, social institutions, and organizations in providing sex care to disabled people. There are cases of disabled people being lonely and frustrated due to lack of intimacy. And this has helped out a lot. Um, okay. And you get money for 12 years. So guess what? That's one a month. That's a lot. So I was thinking. And if you lay, and if after the 12th one, you get the 13th for free. <laughs> You're stupid, dog. <laughs> No, but so I'm like, Christmas. I've always like, and again, like, I don't, I, you know, thank, knock on wood, I'm like able to walk and everything like that. And I'm blessed, you know, um, not to say that they're not either, but damn, I don't know how to say this, but other than saying like, I always, I always wondered, I'm like, do the people like that, that lose from their like waist down, you know, that they can't walk anymore. Does that, does that their junk too? It depends on where their junk started. Huh? It depends on where their junk starts. Because if their junk starts above the waist, then it still works. But if it starts below the waist, it doesn't work anymore. Because you just said it yourself. They're disabled below the waist. Oh. But, if you're, if the, you're, but that's no, what I'm saying. Because my junk your... starts right below my <laughs> belly button. 
<laughs> so You're I'm, so stupid. I'm good, dog. You're an idiot, dog. <laughs> Trust, I'm good on this one. No, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, did you ever? Oh, no, totally I've always wondered, and I don't know how to ask someone, which I mean, I don't like. But I'm curious and like, wait, I'm like, if you're completely out there, like that's done. Like, what do you do for like, I've always thought of them like wondering, like, what would you do to fucking get off? Even okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Good, good example. Let's say that you are, let's say that you are um, impotent or totally dead from the waist down. So your, your, your junk doesn't work anymore. Okay. okay yeah. Let's just say that. Does that mean that you still don't need some type of sexual intimacy? Because sex is not just you penetrating. There's still uh, oral sex. Huh? There's still other sex. <laughs> like, yeah, like, that's why I, huh? I saw you looking like, what? So my point being is, okay, let's say, Where you, are let's you say, your, junk like let's say your junk doesn't work anymore, but you still obviously have sexual thoughts. Maybe you still want to, uh, and forgive me once again, maybe you still want to finger bang a girl. Maybe you still want to, you know what I mean? Maybe you still want to kiss a girl. Maybe you still want to rub on some titties. Maybe you, you know. Yeah, I get that, but that's what I'm saying. Like at that point, if I if I couldn't nut, I'm like, what's the point of this? Like, ah. I, I think there's still. <laughs> I a guess point. that's what they're saying. Like, yeah, I think I think there's still a point. I guess that's that's what I'm saying. Eventually, okay. uh, at the point is even if I'm not gonna physically be fucking and my thing doesn't work, I think I would still lack uh, motor boating a bitch with big titties. You know what I mean? There's still hmm. that little bit of intimacy that I think that you still would need. Hmm. That's all. You know? And this is why I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> But you're below 195. <laughs> so winning. Trust me, your, your, your options just went up on that. <laughs> uh, so with that being said, we're moving to the Netherlands. And uh, we're going to buy ourselves a wheelchair. And we're going to you know, cruise, around, cruise around how it goes. You don't have a slider, do you, by any chance? I, have it. I think you left it over there somewhere. Yeah. Well, Anyways. It's all gravy. With that being said, let's get into some uh, TMZ. What you think about that? Yeah, let's get some TMZs. Just a little... Yeah, we got a lot of these. Yeah, we don't have that much stuff today, you know? Just chilling out today, guys. But there's definitely an update, and I need you to update Ooh. me on this, because what's going on TMZ. with TMZ? T- Shout out to uh, Scarface. Oh, Tori first. Oh, really? Okay, let's do Scarface. Yeah, Scarface. Let's do it. Go for it. Shout out to Scarface. So, sh- you know, Houston legend, Scarface. Definitely. If you know, you know. Uh, he tweeted earlier that he, that he needs a kidney from anyone who is uh, be, po- be positive. positive blood type. So yeah, so hip hop community, uh, hip hop prayers legend. go out to that prayers, prayers. and hip hop. Yeah, like I said, huge hip hop legend, uh, founder of the Ghetto Boys, rap a lot, it's all this kind of stuff. Uh, looks like he needs a kidney. I'm gonna stop that, but look at that picture. That shit's hard. Yeah, I know where that's at. That's on the way to Vegas. Yeah, right John outside. took it. Yeah, I seen it. I liked it already. I think. Damn, bro. Come on. Dog. No, he didn't. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Shout out to my bo- my uh, nephew John Do Joshua Creative. Josh, so creative. Just if you guys are beep. Uh, be positive, blood type. Yeah, and you have a kidney. And you, <laughs> yeah, t- an I extra one. There. Yeah, you know. And you have a kidney, and maybe you're in the Houston area, or can fly out to Houston. Or if uh, you want to do a good deed, help out our boy Scarface. I would do it. You would for Scarface? I was just in general. Okay, so let's say right now we went and tested you, and you're B positive, and you had your kidney, and you know yours is probably not in great. <laughs> but let's say let's say i don't know why he'd choose yours <laughs> he, <laughs> he'd be like okay i'm gonna be back in a month <laughs> anyways, no way but, <laughs> but anyways you know what i mean you would do it like yeah it's just a you wouldn't hold on to it like maybe if your family needs it later down the road no if, if it's if it's helpful why not hey you want to go get tested and maybe and maybe put you up oh whoa, whoa, whoa. you always got to get tested you dig no you dig? Know your status. You gotta, you gotta stay in the Know mist. your status, you bro. Stay in, in the mist. Know your status. So, okay. Don't well, talk to me. Hopefully, you know, like I said, prayers to Scarface. Yeah, prayers to Scarface for sure. Hopefully, somebody helps him out with that. Prayers um, out to Tori now, also. <laughs> now, to some fuck, fuck shit. This Char- is mad. Charges, this guy charges. is such a fucking. After this, like, dude, like, you're a bitch, dog. Like, seriously. After this? Well, no, prior to the other so stuff. T- tell me what so, did it for you. So, finally. Uh, Tory Lanez has been charged in Megan, Megan the Stallion shooting. So here we go. Tory Lanez has been charged with assaulting Meg the Stallion. The Los Angeles County District Attorney Office just announced he's facing one felony count each of assault with a uh, semi-automatic firearm, personal oh. use of a firearm, and carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm in a vehicle. Whoa. Whoa. He's doing court next week, and if convicted, he's looking at a maximum sentence of 22 years. We'll keep you posted. Wow. Next week, doing court. Why are you're an idiot? You're just a fucking idiot. 
like on God. Like now he came out and said charges is not a conviction, which is very true. No, he's got not, he's got he got those true. charges. But think about it: the firearms not registered to him. Off bat, you're gonna get at least you're a gonna gun charge. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you're gonna do. He's gonna do in time. That's for damn sure. Wow. Ooh, man. That's he's got tough. time. Like he's gonna do time. There's no. I, I don't see like again. I don't want. And that's another thing. All right. I don't wish. Jail, yeah, prison, yeah, yeah. anyone ever, ever, you know. I'm like, but you know, like it, it's just like you're a fucking idiot, dude. Like, we talked about this a million times, yeah. right? First and foremost, about driving drunk while you're a famous person. First of all, why are you driving? Yeah. Second of all, why are you toting any any weapons on you? Yeah. Right? Like, why do you even have a it's weapon? Just, it's just you? insane, dude. It's totally insane. Like you, this should not ha- be happening, but it, it it is sadly, you know. And he's gonna be like, and now that's the sad part. Like and he had a ball, dope ass career it was going good for him. Amazing. And Amazing. then he goes off and just a small, like, dumb decision can just fuck up your life, man. Don't we know about that? I think you posted something <laughs> about that today. Yeah, no, yeah, like yesterday. Yeah, I was yeah. like, because I was thinking my blessings, like, straight up. Exactly. I was like, dude, it tripped out. Like, I was just in, I was just in, like, <laughs> I started with fucking uh, <laughs> Bone Thugs and I started like, like <laughs> oh, 99, like, you know, Snoop Dogg and shit. And then I went to, I went to uh, 95 with Poop, Tupac, you know, Me Against the World. That album. I remember I got caught. I got my. I got a first. My first case ever. Yeah. Only case, right? Let's let's go there. You know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I caught <laughs> I it. I was I was twenty. I was twenty twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. I was twenty years old. Twenty. Okay. Um, for stupid shit, and I it's because I didn't fucking stop at a stop sign. I was just like yeah. in a rush. Anyways, long story short, I catch a case. Um, and I remember during that time that album like I replayed it again and just I would just it would just hit me and then like that um, Lord knows yeah it's like I smoke a blunt to take the pain out and yeah. if I wasn't high I probably blow my brains out yeah, I'm yeah. hopeless yeah like that, that was like I remember like, yeah man I just want to get high like you know like yeah fuck this I'm like because at that time I was like I didn't had a got a lawyer yet but I remember having a um, the person I was uh, just someone bailed me out. The homie bailed me out, okay? okay? okay. The homie bailed me out, and I'm like, cool, paying for like in 1200 That was my bailout, dope, bam. Then after that, um, I had to wait like like two, three days after that, I went to go meet up with um, with a lawyer. Because okay. then I had I lowered up right away. I'm like, cool. I'm like, I need a lawyer. He's like, I got one. Don't trip. I'm like, tight. Let's go see him. Fucking five Gs. I'm like, ugh. I was like, but what are you going to get? He's like, well, you know, he played it. He played it good. You know, he's like, you know, you can get up to a year you know of you know this and that but yeah, maybe yeah. with a little time a couple months whatever like that i'm like man i was like, like i ain't doing that i'm like for what he's like yeah he's like but the other charge he's like because i had another charge he's like that one you might do a little more time he's like but and i'm like fucking shit i'm like all right well fuck it i'm like as long as i don't do like a lot of my hair i didn't tell anybody i was like just like fuck it this is what i did i'm like you know yeah. and i handled my shit and then um dude i tripped out um fast forward i was looking at that i, I you know i lawyers everything obviously i didn't go to jail thank god you know what i'm saying god, um god. i was i went past through everything paid all these fucking fees you were going to drug classes everything like that but i was thinking that uh, yesterday like, i was playing that out and i'm like man like this but it was just like now i listen to it like man like, like looking back on it yeah but like, at that point it was such a, an insurmountable situation yeah. that you were going through right no yeah and i, I was just like mean. man this album really like put me through it like and then it, it, that music puts you right back in that or that feeling yeah, that you had in that, that, that and it's then it's, it's, it's it nostalgic is. and not only that but like like i even in the post i'm like um it's just, I, I felt the same, but like I see the growth and that's what I appreciate the most out of it. No, and that's what I love about music. Like, that's what you get. Like certain moments in time, like, I don't know, like I've always had something that I used to listen to that I can look back and my memories, that's why it's good. I'm like, oh, I remember this. I'm like, oh, yeah. and I start relating it to that Me shit. Too. I remember the other day I was like, damn, I dedicated this song to that girl. And now, now I was like, you're a fucking bitch. Sick. <laughs> you sick in me or what? <laughs> hey, did you, I never what did a, a tape. Sip, I never did it. I never did a tape. I did. I did a CDs. I did CDs. I don't want to know. Like no, that's the like that. song of all time. Did you? Did you say that? Keep it on, on the low. low. Like, that's a. What, do, what that, you, that's a hard <laughs> song though. <laughs> no, that's a hard song. <laughs> yeah, no, that no, is. No. A, I don't <laughs> want to know. No, I never said that one. That, that's a little too much. That's overboard right there. Sorry about that. That's something. Uh, <laughs> so enough about losing. Let's, let's get let's get on to some winning. Let's get right? some there's, winning. There's people doing some big time winning right now. And we talked about Travis Scott and the whole Mickey D situation last week. Right. Xanax and the burger. Yeah. Jay Balvin announced a big thing with Mickey D's. He's got a new situation. So he's yeah, he's got that. a meal. He's got a Jay Balvin meal, which is just uh, a consistent because he's Colombian. 
Yeah, he just has a McFlurry with his uh, Big Mac and ketchup, and that's it. <laughs> McFlurry? That's a big old thing? And I call it the J Balvin meal yeah, or some shit. are getting money, though, right? Yeah, they're getting money. Yeah, these little fucking crazy little meals and shit. That hey, is you know nuts. who else is getting money, though? Like, this is tight. I this thought this is was cool. Tight. What's his name? It. So it's at Dogface208. At Dog... Two, two Gs. D-O-G-G-F-A-C-208. Yeah. Exactly. Um, shout out to that goon, because he's doing it right. Um, he went viral. Know, he went viral on on his uh, Instagram, and I saw it too, and I was like, I liked it too. I was like, he, like that's and, funny. And the funny thing about it, he's been kind of going yeah. semi viral before this. Who's like, gone wild? And just because yeah. he does, he's a. If you guys don't know, he's that cholo. He's like a veterano guy, and he, he does little dances and songs to like offbeat songs. You know what I mean? Not like a normal gangster song, I guess you would say, right? And he started gaining a little recognition, you know, doing all these little offbeats, TikToks and stuff. But the one he did this past, I guess, week with. The who? Yeah, it was his week. I don't know, yeah. but it, it was cool because so he's going down on skateboard and he's just like chilling, and then his Fleetwood Mac song That's playing right. in Fleetwood the back, Mac, and, then, and then and then he like when she starts like, and as soon as she comes in, Stevie Nicks, right? Yeah, yeah. she's yeah. all he's and he starts like lip singing with, it and it just looks so funny. There like, you go again. Um, you say you want your freedom, but that's not the lyrics that she was. You see, you're doing too much, Zoe. That's it. You said you want your freedom. That was the one. <laughs> Anyways. So, check it out. Dogface put out and he went viral. One of the first things that I saw is... Oh, uh, you told me about this. I didn't know this much. So, the guy from Fleetwood Mac, he actually came out. And it's funny because he did his own little TikTok where he was like skating down the street with a cranberry juice also. And I heard that supposedly they had given him some money. Oh, and another thing was the, the, the reason he's winning is this car company. I can't remember the car company name, but um, they actually gifted him a brand new truck. Toyota, I believe it was. A brand new Toyota. Yeah, brand new Toyota, something like that. But Ocean Spray bought it for him. Some, yeah, you go. Ocean I Spray bought him the brand new truck. It was a brand new Toyota, but they also decked it out. Like I guess the the truck of the uh, the the cab. I'm sorry, the back bed of the truck was full of Ocean Spray, and I think they yeah. gave him like Ocean Spray like for a year or some something. Some shit like that, that which I thought that was pretty cool. I think that's I'm, I like that. I like that, shit like that. I saw that they had given him ten grand, not Ocean Spray or anything, but something else. They had given him ten grand, and then he said that he was going to give five of it right away to his mother. The cool part about it is he was living in a trailer behind his brother's house. So oh, shit. and in the video where he's taking the uh, the skateboard, he's actually skateboarding to work. So, ah, so you know what I mean? It's cool. It's cool to the see that. The plot thickens. It does. It gets a little cooler. And shout out to Dogface because for I mean? sure. And it's, with that said, we're gonna end up this. We're gonna end this episode up. Um, only for you good music that I have right now that I'm gonna listen and share with you guys right now. It's gonna be again. Actually, you know what? The Javon. And I've been on that EP. Yeah. He's an alcoholic. <laughs> for sure uh jovan check him out for sure um when it's all said and done um i said mentioned that last week i really enjoyed that album a lot um and then reason from tde top dog entertainment um the, he dropped a uh, new beginnings really good album been bumping that one as well and i've also been bumping this terrace martin terrace Mar terrace martin robert glasper ninth wonder and kamasi washington um and this is um dinner party dessert it's really good. It's really good. Um, if you like those producers, you're going to like this project a lot. Uh, I love a lot of Terrace Martin stuff. He's really good at LA based. Um, he went Lockhart, Lockhart, Heart, Hi, Lockhart. Yeah. Lockhart. That's and then, spot, no? yeah. And then Trey Songs. Trey Songs back home. He dropped one. I was into that too. You know, I like R&B. So there it was good. Other than that, um, do you have any new music? I don't, unfortunately. Bryson dropped that other song. You know what? The Deftones one was cool. Did you, you know the one? I'm actually listening to uh, Fuerza, Fuerza Regida. Oh. You know, like them? I think we've listened to one of their songs, but they're like a, a, a group with Lil Corrido. So they're cool. Young, youngsters. Check them out. Fuerza Check them out. Regida. And here's another one song. Another single that dropped by Mola Ferret. It was Ooh. Mola Ferret and Alejandro Fernandez. Ay! Who did I say there was? You said Pedro Infantes. <laughs> yeah, I was like, some shit like that. So <laughs> it's um, <laughs> Que Se Sepa Nuestro Amor. It's a really good song. Very ranchera. Like, I love Mon Laferet. So she dropped that. You know, your boy was on it. <laughs> you dig? Nah. Okay. All right, All right then. then. So please it. remember to subscribe, like, and shit. Give us some love, man. Uh, we really appreciate down, it. So we might not be celebrating tonight. Oh. Maybe I will. But we'll let you All know. All right. So hopefully the Lakers win. And next week, well, I'm fucking happy as fuck. Peace. Peace.